Welcome back! This video will cover the path missions and buildable items that players of the Settler Path can complete in the Northern Wilds. Settler goals focus on collecting resources and using them to change the game world in a way that benefits themselves as well as other players, making them particularly useful while playing in the open world. Before tackling any missions directly, you will need to collect resources. There is only one type of resource to find in the Northern Wilds. Look for small brown and green boxes marked with the triangular settler icon. These are salvage machine parts which are used to build all of the expansions found in this zone. You will randomly receive one or two parts for each box you interact with, and you'll need a lot of them to complete all of the missions, so pick them up whenever you find one. Don't worry about your path choice affecting your bag space though. They'll be stored in a special section of your trade skill bag called Settler Resources. Salvage appears throughout the primary portion of the map, but doesn't seem to spawn in Camp Ice Fury, Coldboro Cavern, or the area of Exolab 729. On to the missions. The first one you'll encounter is Expansion Settler's Reach. You will need to interact with the depot here and purchase four expansions to complete the mission. Note that this doesn't mean you have to buy one of each different expansion. If you want to, you can buy the same expansion all four times and still get credit. You will also receive credit for extending the time on an expansion even if another settler has already built it. Here you can choose from among three buff stations or the digitally linked banking box, which will allow players to access their bank inventory from this location. Of the other three, the Assault Power Infuser will increase your Assault Power, the Shield Charging Booster will increase your Shield Regen, and the Medical Station Health Booster will increase your maximum HP. Each buff lasts for 20 minutes, but not all of them stack. Interact with the stations you want to receive the associated boost. You can build and add time to stations like this as often as you want to as long as you have the necessary resources, even after completing the mission. The second mission is Expansion Coldboro, located just outside of Coldboro Cavern. Again, you will need to build any four expansions to complete it. The stations to choose from this time are the Critical Hit Enhancer, Shield Booster, and Travel Speed Booster, all of which can be stacked with one another. These are pretty self-explanatory and improve your critical hit rate, shields, and movement speed respectively. You can also build a militia outpost to spawn a small barricade and two soldiers, which will help defeat any mobs lured to the area. You'll find the last expansion mission in Camp Ice Fury. There's only one choice at the depot this time, so gather 8 salvage machine parts and select the Exile Mortar Strike Team to complete Expansion Ice Fury. Doing so will spawn two friendly NPCs and an interactable item players can collect. You will receive one automatically. This gives you a temporary skill called Target Mortar Strike, which you can use to call down a mortar anywhere within the Camp Ice Fury area. That's it! Now you know how to build a better Northern Wilds. See you next time!